why we're all heading back to the theater to see Endgame. Yes, Endgame is still in the theaters. It's kind of rolling, you know, getting lower and lower and less and less in the theaters. And we... I've seen it several times. I think three times in the theater. Um, every time you get a little bit more out of it. And, you know, if you want to keep going and seeing it, then you'll get a little bit more out of it. But... Yes, it was announced and kind of hinted at something that uh, Kevin Feige said in an interview saying that right here, we are doing that, Feige said, of an Endgame re-release with new footage. I don't know if it's been announced. I don't know how much. Yeah, we're doing it next weekend. So I don't know if it's actually this coming weekend. Probably not before... Spider-Man, I don't know if they want to stomp on Spider-Man or stomp on Toy Story, right? So, I mean, Toy Story is a Disney product, and I don't know if they want to stomp on themselves. But, um, so, we're going to be getting an end game that's longer than the three hours and whatever minutes. So, uh, we'll have to see how long. I mean, if it's, you know, two minutes longer, is that really worth going to see again or waiting for video? But... Uh, if you just search for, you know, Endgame re-release here, you're getting all these re-release, re-release, and Endgame, Endgame re-release. And do we know why Disney is doing this? Well, there's a very good reason why. Um, and you can hear back there the baby finches are hungry, so they're screeching back there. But we know exactly why. All-time worldwide box office. We are exactly, well, close to $45 million away from taking over Avatar as the top movie. So how has Avengers been doing? Well, if we come down here towards the bottom, uh, weekends, it's making about a million and a half, you know, per day. Saturday, you know, Saturday's 1.3 million. Sunday's 1.5 million. But we're getting close to the end of the run and it's going to drop out of the theater. So the middle of the weeks, we're making maybe maybe two million. So in order to get that four, make up that forty-five, we'd have to need it in the theaters quite a few more weeks. And with Toy Story coming out and other films coming out, less and less people are going to be seeing Endgame. So it's starting to trail off. So how do you get people to get back in the theater in order to be able to see, you know, your film again and know, you know, okay, and try push past you know, this record right here. Now, me, personally, I never saw Avatar. I thought that the premise of it was just about um, the whole political statement was just that the United States just goes and destroys other countries and takes what we want. And in some cases, that might be true, but um, it, in general, I just think you're going to portray this movie and people aren't even going to get that all you're doing is crapping on the United States. So I didn't go see it. So none of my dollars are in there. So I'm more than happy to go back and see Endgame again and push this past the top, right? I'm more than happy to do that. So we'll see if this actually, this ploy, this plan actually works. Um, when is, let's see, when is Spider-Man coming out? We'll look that up because I'm always prepared. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Toy Story 4 opening this week. And then coming soon, we have... Uh, that one's not going to be much. This, uh, that's not going to be much. I'll say more coming soon. So what do we got? So Three Peaks. No, that's not going to be much. So let's see. We've got Spider-Man on July 5th. So, if they release this on the weekend before, uh, which would be the weekend before, which is June 7th, no, that's not it. So, it's going to be, we're already past June 7th, June 14th. Okay, so then we've got June 21st, which is Toy Story. So, the I, June 28th. I mean, they could do it June 28th. Uh, that's really close to Toy Story. I don't know. That's one week after Toy Story. 
So I I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe the same week as Spider Man, July fifth. I mean, I you're gonna be taking you're gonna be chewing some of your Disney box office, you know, either way, unless you're going further out to like July twelfth. I mean, July twelfth would be okay because there's not really much coming out there. That's huge. Because then you get July 19th as Lion King and you're shooting yourself in the foot again. So, well, or maybe they just think that it's not going to chew into any other movies. Box office? I don't know. July 12th might seem to be a fair time to put it out. Or they just don't care and they're just going to re-release it. Now, knowing, hopefully we'll be able to know somehow that the film that we're going to see is going to be the re-released version and the theater's not going to be playing the original cut so we're gonna have to know that as well hopefully the theaters will be on that and be able to show that i don't know maybe cinemark see if we go to cinemark and see what happens here cinemark hey okay so uh we've got of course they don't even have endgame on here they got now playing uh aladdin there's Endgame, but it's not showing me. Just use my location, allow location. It's not showing me any. Any dates or anything here that shows that this is the newer extended cut version. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it. I mean, if it does come out with more, you know, are you going to go see it? again because it has more in it or you're just going to wait okay we'll just get the extended cut when it comes to video um what are you going to do i mean i'm probably going to go see it because i mean it's in game and probably more than likely the last really big marvel movie that's going to come out i think after this it's going to be all identity politics down the line you know probably just a straight line right down the wire identity politics the rest of the way for marvel yeah that seems to be the way it's going so I mean, comic books, Captain America, first time handed the shield to Bucky, not to Falcon, right? So are they playing, you know, identity politics there just in doing that? I mean, Bucky would make more sense. He's stronger. He's, you know, more able to do this. He's enhanced, all those things. Falcon just has the little, you know, wings that he flies around with. So I don't know. I mean... It, it's fine either way they want to do it, but, you know, is that the beginning of it, right? And then we have, you know, of course, Captain Marvel, who's like probably the worst character that they've portrayed, you know. But anyway, Avengers Endgame Extended Cut is coming out, and are you going to go see it? I'm going to. We'll see how this goes, see if we can break the all-time record and take it away from Avatar as Marvel fans. I think just going as a Marvel fan would be you know, the thing to do, just just to make it happen, right? All right. Well, that's all I've got today. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, as always, I'm Tom with Tom's Tech Show. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the fun things that you can do. And we'll catch you in the next one.